Hello. So we are back. Wednesday morning. Yeah. And yeah, this will be a short video. But it's just about the fonts. Yeah. These are some old fonts. But it's not necessary to be about the the old fonts. Even the Samsung, you have the Note. You have any phone with like an external battery. Yeah. It's about how we can manage this, you know. Actually, when you are sell, you are testing. Let's say you are testing the phones, or you are buying a phone, or how we can test it quickly, yeah. Because you don't have, you know, the customer is there, it's waiting, and you have to know if if you can buy that phone or not. For uh, for a country like uh, UK, yeah, these phones are completely rubbish, yeah. But for a poor country, yeah, like how I told you. 80% from the population they are living on poverty so for them this you know this is kind of expensive yeah they are still buying these phones if you go on the bootsell you'll see bootsell bootsell is kind of market like people market yeah there are a lot buying these kind of old phones and sending the phones to them countries so Let's figure it out, yeah, how you can test the phones quickly. So let's say you have a phone. Any phone, I haven't tested this phone, I don't know nothing. We have a box with old phones like this. And you don't have the charger. You don't even know if you should buy a charger, yeah. Let's say, okay, we have a good phone. Yeah, I'll buy a charger. Or... Uh, you don't know if the battery is good or the phone is good yeah so what I will do first first you have to check the phone to see if the phone is good especially this I think J700 yeah I remember this phone this is from my time especially this this was mad expensive like 15 years ago wow it was mad expensive so I will take the power supply let's make first yeah Let's make the, yeah, let's make this bigger. Okay, so we have the current and we have the voltage. So I will set up the voltage. The voltage of the battery is 3.6 discharge, 4.2 fully charged. So you can set up the voltage, whatever you want on this range, yeah? So I'll take the phone and keep in mind, yeah, keep in mind, on the phone, the easy way is to check the battery. Check the battery <laughs> and the battery is saying, no, okay, it is saying plus and minus. You can see it plus and minus. So I know my plus is here. So if I connect plus, yeah, and minus, I can tell you for sure nothing will happen. So if you try now to power up the phone, look at the current look at the current oh yeah the phone it is coming on okay that's weird let's try one more time and it's shutting down it's not enough current yeah let me raise the current so here it should be like 2.5 amps should be enough It's not supposed to work like that, yeah? It's not supposed to work with two wires. That was the idea of this video. That's weird. When actually you try to prove a point, and uh, you can't prove it. So actually it's not supposed to work with two wires, yeah? You have the temperature uh, pane there. Okay, that's weird. That was a bad example. That was a bad Let's get a Nokia. Okay, what do we have here? We have, you can see on the battery plus and minus. So we have plus and minus. Plus and minus. And it's not supposed to work. It's taking power. 30, 40 milliamps, but it's not coming on. You see the current going going down soon as, as I release the, the power button, yeah? So probably 99% of the phones, it will react like that. 
so you cannot power up the fonts yeah using only plus and minus you can see on the power supply okay what do we have to do and this is like for all the fonts even the new ones the Samsung the, you have to bridge yeah you can see the middle pin with the ground that's all what you have to do and now now we can have probably a working phone yeah and the phone probably it's on okay so that's the way how you can power up the phone okay keep in mind you have to short the other pin with the ground so that's the way how you how you, how you check a phone okay let's get another one you saw or like this a phone you don't have the battery you have you have no idea if the if the the phone is good or not uh, I don't think this is good well let's see you see on this case we don't have a battery so how we can know which is minus and plus hmm? very easy you can get the multimeter the multimeter it is on screen it is on screen diode mode yeah or ohms whatever you want ground you have the metal and you see this is minus show me zero zero that means it's minus obviously on the opposite side opposite you have the plus and the plus is not zero zero so this what is zero zero is mean it's one track that means the pin is ground so now we know if the ground is there we know the ground is there we'll show the ground with the middle pin yeah and plus let's try now it's taking 40 million 80 and it's coming on okay so that's how you know if the if a phone is good without the battery okay it's easy but if we'll try to use only plus and minus let's try it again yeah only minus only minus and plus let's see now Oh, this is working without the temperature uh, track okay that's weird that's another bad example or maybe a touch by mistake let's try again no it is working <laughs> this it is working okay Let's try another one. Oh, these phones are from my time. Okay, on the battery we have plus and minus. Plus is on this side. Let's try it. Let's try only plus and minus first. Minus yeah and plus and now we can press the power button now one second maybe it'll be more easy with clips you know the the metal crocodiles you see it's not coming on you see the the current is going up to 220 milliamps when i press the power button but it's not coming on you can see so you have to short the middle pin with the ground like how i told you yeah that's how you can power up the phone plus now we can power up the phone maybe maybe this phone is not working no, this is not working oh yeah it is working 60 70 
140 milliamps and the phone is on. Insert SIM is saying. Okay, good. What about this? This is free one one ten, probably. I remember this phone. Nokia, Nokia was a was a top brand on my time. No, it's free one zero nine. Okay, let's see this one. Plus minus. Plus minus. Let's connect the middle pin. Okay. And power. Okay, power is on here. Huh? It is. Yeah, probably. No, the power button is not working on this one. It's not clicking. On button. Okay, so this is faulty. This has a power button. A very, this is a very common fault with these phones, the power button. And it's a easy thing to be fixed. Sony Ericsson, look Sony Ericsson. Wow, this is water damage. Let's try this one, yeah? Let's see this one. I'm trying to avoid checking the batteries, yeah? We are not here to check the batteries, we are here to... Power up the phone with the power supply, plus minus. Okay. Plus minus. You see here you have two pins on plus, two on minus, and the middle pin, which probably is the temperature sensor. Let's try only plus and minus. See if it's working. Where is the power button? Huh? Here? Yeah, is there. Plus, minus, let's try to power up. Uh, okay, that's a little bit too high. 500 milliamps, it's a lot. So I believe this one is faulty. Minus plus and you press the power button. It's not on. I can't see any picture, but it's taking like 600 milliamps, which is too high. We have light on the keyboard, yeah? Well, not on the screen, but based on the fact, I can see it's green here. I think this is a water damage job. Yeah. It's not even worth to be repaired, these kind of phones. Phones okay need battery. How do you know the phone is okay? So it's the same story. We don't have the battery. We don't know which is plus and minus. Multimeter. Ground. And this is zero, zero. That means that's ground. Yeah. Ground, we short the, the two pins and plus, and power button is here. And the phone is coming on. Okay, that's the way how you check out a uh, phone quickly. Yeah, quickly, quick. Sometimes you have to be very quick. What about this? No battery inside. Okay, no battery. But that's not a reason. Like to don't know if it's working. Look, this has four pins. Yeah. Ground. Let's find out ground. I'll take the ground from anywhere. You can take it even from the charging port or let's say SIM card reader. Yeah. Okay, this is not. This is ground. So the ground is the third pin 
from the left or the second from the right yeah and obviously the plus probably it's on that side so what I will do I don't know which one is the temperature so I'll short first these two and plus here let's see which is the power button power button is this one how can I press it Yeah, probably we need that clamps to and the phone is going up and that's all he's dying okay power on and he's dying so that's mean I'm not on the right pins so I'll use the middle two pins I'll short them together and now I'll try again I'm sure it'll work. Let's try. No, it will not work. Yeah, 270 milliamps. That means the phone it's on. Well, probably I can't show you. Hmm? I don't even know. It's, uh, I can't show you. I need that things, you know. Somewhere. I don't have them. Okay. That's not a problem. <clears throat> What's this one? How oh, this can be open? Well, oh, this is not a phone. Okay, let's get some uh, more like actual fonts like uh, let's say new ones yeah let me see if i can find some sort of fonts yeah they found one samsung mega this is a big phone What about this? Mm -hmm. So we don't know if the phone is good or not. Maybe we don't have the battery. Maybe the battery is too low. You know, plus and minus. If you don't know the plus and minus, again, you can check with the multimeter. Let's say this one. Yeah, this is the one. The third pin from the, from the right or the second from the left. So that's ground. What I will do, I'll show the ground in the next pin. Plus, well, how can I press the power button? Mm -hmm. Plus, press the power button and the phone is on. No, it's going off. Okay. On. And the phone is going off. Okay, so I'll try the next two pins. These two. Let's try now. On. And it's going off. Maybe I'm not touching. I'm not sure about this. on the phone is going off it always follow the current because that's it's saying everything okay you have to keep press a little bit longer on the on the on the power button you see now like 400 milliamps let's see you can see the phone on look on the on the webcam yeah on the webcam the phone is on, 700 milliamps, that means the phone is starting. Yeah? But if I'll try, only plus and minus probably will not work. Most likely it will not work. Let's try it. Minus. So 
So now we have only minus and plus. Press the power button, nothing happened, okay. Press the power button. No, oh, that's not the power button, sorry. Press the power button, I can keep it longer. And it is working. Okay, that's weird. Probably it's time to update my my information, so plus and minus. Weird, but that's the way how you check the phones. Okay, let's find another one. I'll try to find another one. Yeah. One second. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I said it's short, 20 minutes, and I done nothing. So that's the way how you check the phones. You remember with the battery, we, we spoke about how do you charge the battery and things like that. We remember we have a video about how we can charge the batteries. I always use like 2 amps. 2 amps should be fine for any battery. Minus plus. 2 amps. It's taking 2 amps. Okay, the voltage should be higher. 5 volts. Let's say 5 volts. Because it will get on the limit, you can see the voltage is going down. So actually if you set up more, let's say A volts, yeah, you can see that, A volts. Based on the fact it's a current limit, yeah, the voltage goes down. Yeah, you can set up more, let's say 15 volts, 16 volts. Same story, yeah, the voltage goes down 4.5 volts because it's a current limit. Remember? But it's still safe to stay around the the to stay around the five volts, even if you have a current limit. Let's take two point three amps, two point four. Let's go lower. Two point two is fine. Yeah. So like a discharge battery like that, like in one minute, you can test the phone. Whatever you see, 4.6 is not the voltage of the battery. Yeah. But 4.6, 4.7 now is the voltage checked on the power supply, on the output of the power supply. And you'll say, sorry, yeah, but on the, on the output of the power supply, we have the battery. So that means the battery has 4.7? No. You have the wires. Yeah. So you probably will lose. A lot of current on, on wires so actually on this point you don't have 4.7 but we can check to see what voltage is here because even compared with what is here is different on the battery from here to the battery you have an electronic board and whatever is there obviously what you will always lose the current but we can check minus we have the multimeter on screen Let's switch on volts. Okay, minus, plus, and we have 5.6. Yeah, 5.6. You can see on the multimeter 5.6. Look there, 5.6, and on the power supply 5.6. So let's find out what happened when I will try to charge the battery. So we have minus and plus, yeah. So be be very 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 careful, yeah. Not careful, like pay attention. Four point seven volts on the power supply. On the multimeter we have four point three. So on the wires, yeah. On the wires, I'm losing half a volt, yeah. So that's the on the so on the battery we have, not four point eight. We have four point four. 4.4 here 
I'm sure on the on the actually on the battery, I have like or probably like 3.5, 3.6. Because you lose power even on the electronic board. Yeah. So from what phone is this battery? From what I get this. Not from here. This one? No. no. Samsung. Okay, this is a Samsung one. Sorry. And now probably the phone will come on with the battery. Or maybe not. Okay, probably he changed his mind. Let's check again the battery. Let's check the voltage. Voltage voltage of the battery. 3.7. 3.7 should be fine. I don't remember. We checked this one. Okay, this battery is not from here. Samsung is from here. Sorry. And yeah, the phone is coming on. So that's how you charge the battery. Probably this DVD video will be helpful to people. They have like a phone shop, and you think you think you know, are many shops they don't know these things. Like we have three doors down at another phone shop. They don't know how to charge the battery or test the phones. Okay. So what I can say, hopefully this video is, uh, it will help you. But my advice, check the video with charging the battery and testing the batteries, yeah? Because even on the, let's say in a situation like this, let's get another battery. When, but it, it, this is like, a, like it's, it's like a, it's an instinct thing, yeah? It's, it's a reflex. Always when I, when I, let's say I charge the battery, I will also check the battery. Uh, minus, plus. Like I see the voltage is so low, it's 4.1 volts. That's mean the voltage, it's a reflection of the internal resistance of the battery, yeah? So you have a higher resistance on the battery, the voltage will be higher. Lower resistance of, of internal, internal resistance, the voltage will be lower. And uh, you can check actually, you, let's say this one, minus plus 4.1. Uh, this battery probably is very good. And probably this is very good. So you can check this charge battery, you can test them. The, 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 the charge battery is more hard, yeah? So if you have a discharge battery like this one, let's check actually what voltage is here, yeah? Plus, minus. And we have 3.1. So this battery is quite good, it's quite good, 3.1 volts has the battery and based on the internal resistance, minus plus, there we have 4.1, 4.2, I would say like a 70-80%, like how much, you know I made my uh, 2 amps. Amps, yeah, I will say this battery is around 70 70 percent good, but I can say that, yeah, I can say it. Or maybe not. This is not supposed to happen, like the voltage is going up here. That's not a good sign. That's when the internal resistance goes high from some reason because the, obviously the battery is not getting so quickly charged. So we still have on the battery like 3.7 nearly. So what do I think? I think it has a thermal protection inside and that will create uh, internal resistance. Probably. This is going 4.5, 4.6, 4 4.7. That's not supposed to happen. On 4.7, you have you should you should have a fully charged battery. 
so this one has an internal uh, temperature protection and obviously because this high current is 2 amps that protection is getting hot and it's creating resistance it's, it's meant to be like that to protect the battery against uh, high charging current okay and the phone is working so actually we in the time we check the we check we charge the battery also we check the or we check the battery we also charge the battery yeah these are some useful tips for uh, dealing with phones also you can diagnose phones yeah let's give an example I have here a a non-working phone let's say di di you have to diagnose a phone you have a dead phone you know you, you have to know from the beginning you have the customer there you have to know if you have a board fault a screen fault a battery fault or a charging port fault yeah so how we can know this quickly because yeah the customer he, he waiting for a price and you have to be precise you are precise you are you're looking more professionally if you are precise so let's say like this one okay what you will do first probably you'll try to charge the you'll try to charge the phone let's connect the charger and all the charge is taking 0 0.4 amps 0 0.4 amps you can see in there so we already know this is a big phone a big battery the charging current should be all over one amp so can be like let's say the battery is extremely low and the battery is extremely low the phone will try to charge the battery with low current but you can take out the battery and check the check the battery let's check the battery and the battery has 2.8 volts okay that is low let's charge the battery quickly let's say I don't know maybe I'm, I'm not trusting myself to check the phone with the power supply so in that case I'll just charge the battery 2 amps this is a big battery oh sorry this is a big battery so I can go high let's say 2.5 amps 2.5 has 3.9 volts the battery is good Actually, I will say it's very good. So I'll charge the battery a little bit. Just to rise the battery potential so the phone can charge with full current. Let's just wait. Let's check the battery. Minus, plus, and the voltage of the battery is 3.1. Should be fine, should charge with like full current. The same story, nothing changed. You can see there. Nothing changed, it's not coming on. So, I can say from now is something wrong with the phone yeah so we have nothing on screen the current is it's not enough it's, it's like half current I need mean like like 30% the charging current I will say something is wrong with this phone what can I do more I will check the phone with the power supply so you have plus minus plus minus Four point seven. That should be fine. And the power button is here. Press the power button. The core current. Look there. One hundred forty milliamps. Yeah. And that's all. It's not doing anything else. One hundred forty milliamps. And nothing more. On the other pins, same story. 
So I can say this phone has a board fault. This will never come on. It will never charge. Yeah. So this phone is faulty. But what fault do we have? Based on the fact, yeah, this is very important. So you have the power supply and you press the power button. To press the power button, yeah, you have a, the power, let's say power management chip is reading the power button. That's mean the power manager, the management chip is good and is reading the power button. You press the power button and the chip will start working, will send voltage on each power rail and it's supposed the phone to come on like this. You press the power button. Sorry. One more time, press the power button. The chip is reading the power button. It's it's uh, lifting up the, the power rails, yeah, 140 milliamps, but it's not starting. So this board probably has a problem not with the power. Uh, I will say it's not on the power side, yeah. So I will suspect more like a software problem. Yeah, because it's it's reading the power button. He's trying to start the phone. He's trying to start the way how he's trying to start. He's just uh, starting the startup sequence. Yeah, it's it's lifting up all the power rails, but for some reason the processor and it's not starting the it's not starting the board. So can be, can be. I think it's like most likely to be a software problem. And when I say a software problem. It's not like a software which you can fix it. Yeah, are, are there, there are cases you can reload the software and the phone can be fine. It's not necessary that that case. You can have like any software, like a, you have even a hardware problem with a data line. So when I say software, is something wrong there on the on the on the data part? You know, the processor, the RAM, the graphics, everything is there. There can be something wrong. Not necessarily software. It can be hardware, but I will try software first. Okay? Yeah, this is faulty. I tested before. That's what he's doing only. Okay? So what I can, I can say is, uh, you know, soon as you'll, 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 you'll understand this relationship with voltage and amps, actually I'm using this power supply a lot. I'm using the power supply more compared with the with the multimeter. So soon you understand what's going on exactly, you the life your your life will be more easy. Okay? So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one, yeah? Bye.